What's up guys, it's Cody here. And if you guys follow Apple or iPhone news whatsoever, then you probably heard about dark mode. And we thought that iOS 10 was going to bring us dark mode. So at iOS 10 release day, we didn't see it. And then the next iteration of iOS 10 came out and we still didn't see it. Now we're on iOS 10.3.2 and we still don't have dark mode. Now dark mode is something that everybody wants. Like literally almost every single person that has an iPhone would like dark mode. Even if they don't know that they like it yet, they probably would like it. Now dark mode something that we've had on jailbroken devices for quite some time. There was a tweet called Eclipse. There was a couple other ones uh, that did the same thing as well, but Eclipse is what kind of paved the road for dark mode for the iPhone. And it's an awesome tweak. It literally allows you to have dark mode throughout your entire iOS. Now this is something that we want to have standard stock on our iPhones. I, I would anyways, I'm sure you guys would too. But we just haven't seen that yet. Now, are we going to see it in iOS 11? I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But there's something a little fishy about what's going on in iOS 10 right now. Because really, there's a way to get dark mode on iOS 10 right now on your phone. I've tried it on iOS 10.2, I've tried it on iOS 10.3.2, and it all works on iOS 10 as far as I know. If you guys try this and it doesn't work for you, let me know in the comments below. That way I can put it in the description so you guys can actually check to see where it works and where it doesn't. Now what you can get right now on iOS 10 is not an entire complete iOS dark mode. You can literally just get it inside one stock application, but it looks awesome and I really think you guys are gonna like it too. Now, all of you guys can do this as well. It's really simple to set up. So let's just go ahead and jump into this and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like and how to do it. All right, so check this out, guys. So we have normal iOS right here, not dark mode, anything like that. If we go ahead and open up the Apple Store, you can see everything looks completely normal like it should. Now, what I've actually done is assign triple press to invert the colors on my device. So you'll see right here, let's just get out of this and let's just do triple press. You can see that it inverts all of the colors and it makes everything look well pretty neon and not something that you would normally use on a daily basis not for me anyways but let's go ahead and get out of that again and now let's go over here to the apple store now let's see what happens if i actually invert the colors inside the apple store you can see that it actually relaunches the application and it launches a dark mode apple store so you can see right here as we scroll through everything has turned to dark except for the pictures meaning that it didn't invert the pictures which makes everything look awesome so you can see right here if we go ahead and just tap on mac and we scroll through here everything is in dark mode again we tap on this we scroll through we have that nice black background everything looks really really clean it doesn't look anything like it was inverted so if we go back here to the home screen you can see everything just looks really really off but again if we go ahead and jump back in here everything looks awesome so what does that mean well we don't really know necessarily this is something that was just discovered and it's hard to tell if this was actually intended to be released for ios 10 but nevertheless it is working flawlessly i mean this just looks amazing so even over here in account if we scroll through everything here is in dark mode we tap on bag i don't have anything in my bag but everything right there just looks great let's go ahead and tap on the ipads so definitely check this out for yourself i'm going to show you exactly how to set this up the way that i set it up so you can see right here if we go ahead let's go ahead and uh turn off the invert and we'll go into settings here and you can literally do what i just did right there and you can scroll up here to the very top you can type in invert and you can show exactly where it is so it's actually in general accessibility vision so let's just go ahead and uh, tap on this and if you want to sign it to the triple press of the home button you scroll all the way down here to accessibility shortcut and then just tap on invert colors so then once you do that you can see everything is inverted but honestly none of the other applications do anything like this so if we just go into let's say my mail you can see everything just looks like it's been inverted rather than in the apple store it looks like there's just a dark mode applied same thing for you know uh, let's just go into the settings you can see all the icons here just look exactly the same as the icons over here where everything just looks inverted and really like intense the only other application that looks somewhat good is actually the calculator so if you open that up you can see it's using just a couple of different colors so it doesn't look as bad but you can definitely still tell that there were no intended chains to the calculator app like there were to the apple store 
like you can see right here. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, let me know what you guys think about iOS 10 and dark mode. Why is it only working in the Apple Store app? Like, what is the deal with that? Maybe you guys have better insight than I do. I just don't understand why it would work in one stock iOS app and not really any of the other ones. Hopefully we'll hear something about dark mode in iOS 11 at WWDC, which is actually next week. But if you guys wanna stay up to date with iOS 11, WWDC, Apple, jailbreak, tech, anything else that I wanna cover, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.